over to you, Carden. All right, the next one will be mini budget 2016. And uh, uh, when, you, when you hear the word mini budget, uh, you should know it's the October one uh, because the other one, we normally call it the main budget. Right, so let's have a look at uh, what we'll see here. Tax hikes, okay, I'll underline this. Won't hurt the poor was the promise of the Minister of Finance, okay, during the medium term budget policy statement, all right? So that would be, it was in October, okay? In South Africa, 10% of the population is responsible for 37% of all personal income tax to the state. Now have a look. 10% is contributing 37%. And which one is this 10%? It's the haves, is the rich, is the one with high income. Uh, so, so that's more or less what we were discussing in the previous question. It's a way of redistributing income and we call this a progressive income tax system. Right, additional taxes are also charged um, in the form of value added tax, okay, this one, everyone pays for it, and fuel levies, okay, uh, while sugar tax, this one is a new one, and carbon tax are possibilities in the future, okay, so this is, uh, this was 2016, and this has been introduced, uh, the sugar tax, right, economists reported that a VAT increase would have the least negative effect on income equality in South Africa, while an increase in personal income tax or corporate tax would be more harmful. Okay, this was adapted from the Finance Week, October 2016. Right, who presents the, the budget speech in Parliament? That will be the Minister of Finance. Uh, if you want, you can mention the, the name. So it will be the, the 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 current minister of finance so in this case would say it's uh tito Mbouin. right identify the type of budget in the extract okay that will be the mini budget or the medium term budget policy statement or you can abbreviate it um briefly describe the term budget and like i said in the previous uh I've question these two must be there and I'm not going to repeat that. What is the main purpose of levying sugar tax? Just try to think about it. It is a way of increasing government revenue, but that's not the main. The main one will be uh, to discourage people from the excessive use of sugar, which causes uh, people being diabetic and, and some heart diseases that are associated with sugar. So government is trying to reduce um, the consumption of s sugar sweetened beverages. And so um, people are being encouraged here to start drinking, uh, you know, fruit juices because they are probably sugar free or less sugar. Explain why an increase in VAT will have a negative impact on the economy. Right, an increase in VAT will, number one, cause an increase in prices of a wide range of products, which will lead to an increase in inflation. So prices will increase. Disadvantage the middle class and poor. Decrease in disposable income. And you know what disposable income is? They will purchase less. Lower demand influencing production in a negative way and decrease economic growth. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog, Remember our books come in two versions, complete and no answers versions. Complete versions have answers and no answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless.